All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I am going to be showing you, well, this is my TBR or not to TBR for the month of June 2023. TBR stands for To Be Read, so these will be five books that I will likely read in the month of June 2023. But before we reveal those five books, let us talk about the five books that I semi-promised you that I would read in the month of May and um, see what happened. Well, I failed spectacularly, folks. I mean, I've had a good string of reading the five books in my TBR monthly for about a year now. This time I f***ed it up, and I didn't read one of the books that I promised. But it wasn't really a promise, because I always say, I may or may not read these. And I may not have read Tad Williams' first Otherland book, City of Golden Shadow. I know I promised you semi-promised you. I said I might read this in May, and I didn't. Didn't. I didn't. Didn't read it. I wanted to. I planned on it. I was actually going to take it on an airplane trip with me and read it, but then I took a different book. And um, other books, you know. Anyway, but we will get to this one day soon because Tad Williams, as you can see, he's my, I've got all of his books up here. He's one of my favorite writers of all time, if not my favorite. So, do not despair, people out there. We will eventually read this probably this summer sometime and uh, put up a review for it, along with all the other books in the Otherland series. So anyway, yes, I failed in spectacular fashion right out of the gate. However, all is not lost because there are four other books that I said I may or may not read in May. Well, these I read. These four I read. And... um. Two of them were Terry Brooks novels, The Word in the Void, Volume 2, A Night of the Word, The Word in the Void, Volume 3, Angel Fire East. I read these both in May. I left a book review of these on the channel. So if you want to see the book review I left of these, just type in my last name into the YouTube search bar, along with the title of either one of these books, and that review will magically appear on your television screen. I also read, because I was in the mood for a cop police procedural, and nobody does cop police procedural novels quite as well as Joseph Wamba. I went, I, I read the, uh, I didn't, I, I know I almost said I wed the, I read Hollywood Station, book number one in his Hollywood Station cop series set in Hollywood. Very dope. I love this book. Gave it a great review. And then I managed to read, and I squeaked this one in right at the last minute. But this one I was reading about 50 pages a day for a couple weeks. It's a big book, folks. And that is House of Change by Change. It's not House of Change. House of Chains by Stephen Erickson, book number four in the Malazan Book of the Fallen. I have read and reviewed the first three books in this 10-book series. This is book number four. Seriously, a wildly spectacular fantasy series. Everybody should be reading these. They're seriously cool. Anyway, so those are the five books that I read in May. Well, no, those four books I read in May. One that I didn't read. Now, the question is, should I p put this on my TBR? For June. No, I'm not going to do that. I've got five other books I'm going to put on the TBR for June. Um, and there's a theme to these books. The first three books are Western-themed novels. That's where I'm wearing my cowboy hat. So I am going to read another Louis L'Amour. It's, it's short. I have to give myself some shorter books this time. So Flint by Louis L'Amour. I'm going to read that one in June of 2023. The two other 
westerns that I will read um, are a little bit rare. They're hard to find westerns. Um, the Big Horn Legacy by W. Michael Gere. Now, W. Michael Gere writes a ton of science fiction books. He also writes a ton of books in the um, uh, History of America series with his wife, Kathleen O'Neill Gere. And I think it's like The People of the Wolf, The People of the Owl, The People of the Hawk. There's like about 30 books in that series. That's what he's most well known for. But he's also written a handful of westerns. And so I will be reading The Big Horn Legacy by W. Michael Gear. Speaking of the gears, I will also read Sand and the Wind by W. Michael Gear's wife, Kathleen O'Neill Gear. So those are on the TBR for you know June of uh, 2023. Three westerns. I'm going to do three westerns. There they are. The other theme is, I've been in the mood to read some Robin Hobb books. So I am going to read book number one and book number two in her Live Ship Traders series in June. Probably read book number three in July. Hell, I might read book number three in June too. I don't know. I might not read either of these books in June or July. I might flake on these just like I flaked on Tad Williams. But anyway, I've been in the mood for some Robin Hobb, so we are going to be going with these two books. Um, I've read these. They're my favorite Robin Hobb books. The Live Ship Traders is my favorite Robin Hobb series, but it's been about 20 years since I've read them. So this will be a great look back in time for some nostalgia stuff and those are my five tbrs for the month of june i think i can do it i think i can do it uh wish me luck and tune in at the end of june to see if i did it <laughs>